Okay, so yesterday, well, yesterday evening, I came across a post on the Ho'oponopono cleaning group. Feeling the phrases in your body? Question mark. Usually fo my focus is beyond the body using Ho'oponopono. However, I sometimes go into my body during the prayer. The interesting thing is, every phrase is consistently felt in a particular location in my torso. Has anyone else recognised this? So I replied, I feel it in many places, often my throat and my stomach. When we do Ho'oponopono mindfully, we can really explore Ho'oponopono somatically. And then he replied, I feel I'm sorry in my lower belly. Um, just above that, I feel I love you. Above that, forgive me. Then I thank you is in the chest. So I decided to, rather than write it out, uh, a reply that I, I would do a video. And then I thought I'll just, I want to make sure that I explain everything to the best of my knowledge. So rather than just do a video, I, I wrote some notes and ended up writing a whole thing. So I, I just want to read you what I've written. So when we allow ourselves to pause, we can become aware of things that we did not notice. This can be external and internal. And we often pause to turn inwards. When we do this, we experience a few moments where we're going from our external world to our internal world. Now, externally, we hear and see and feel, smell and taste the world with more intensity. And that is because we have allowed ourselves to pause, to make time and space to tune into our senses. Often then, we pay attention to our intention and turn inwards, connecting to the body, the breath or a mantra. Now, in doing so, we turn, we're allowing ourselves, so using the body, breath or mantra, we, we're allowing ourselves to turn away from the exterior world and tune in to our interior world. So the, the mantra, the connecting to the body, connecting to the breath, it's their tools from turning from our exterior world to our interior world. Now, we're able to feel our bodies in a whole new way when we turn inwards. So we notice the sensations that show up. And when I say show up, it's not that they weren't there to begin with. These feelings were there anyway. It's that we did not notice our feelings in our body because we were too busy to notice. And it's extremely common um, that we put our bodies last and neglect our body um, because sorry, I've lost my place now. Um, so it's, it's in extremely common we put our bodies last and ignore what's screaming out for attention with the excuse we don't have the time. So in other words, we're, we're always that busy that we don't like to listen to our bodies. But when we become our, aware of our bodies, we are able to take care of ourselves better because our body is our loyal consort. And although we're ignoring it often and we neglect it terribly, it remains our best friend and our guide. And it's always telling us what we need to be healthy and happy and safe. <coughs> Our chickens are joining in there. So when we use the Ho'oponopono, we become more aware of our bodies. And it can be different for every single one of us. There is no wrong way to do this. So let me explain that consciously using a mantra so, you know, when we're just going, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. And we haven't really got anything that's in our mind straight away, but we're just using it as a mantra. Using the mantra, it helps us to retain a focus. 
it stops the mind chatter um, and it replaces the mind chatter. It can also help us be less re reactive and more responsive. So instead of just snapping and reacting and reacting and reacting to what's going on around us, we, we are able to go, okay, and respond. So excuse me so responding to whatever comes up in a much calmer way the whole Ponopono mantra it vibrates through our bodies and minds and it cleans and clears the the negative thoughts and the memories away and it's it works a bit like a snow plow in the way that um a snow plow just plows the snow it, it's it's the whole Ponopono is plowing away what needs to be cleaned ahead of us to help us to to tune in and just be with ourselves kind of like to live in the now so when we use the Ho'oponopono as a response instead of a reaction we can address our frustrations and we we are using the language in a different way when we're responding and we're instead of using the mantra we're thinking of what's frustrating us and then we're focusing on on that thought that word or the situation and and when we we focus on that when we're saying I love you I'm sorry please forgive me thank you it's different it's 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 very different we're 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 no longer just saying it willy-nilly there's purpose to it that do or more purpose to it than when we'd say it as a mantra so we pause as a response when we're, we're doing Ho'oponopono like that we've got the, the thought or the frustration and we notice it and we respond to having that thought coming up by allowing ourselves to pause we then take the breath and we just take ourselves back to centre, often with the square breathing that Dr. Hugh Len taught us. Uh, I teach, I am the I, I am the breath um, as well. So that's another, another method. So there's many methods to take us back to ground or centre and, and just be able to um, become aware of our body and mind instead of our problem now as we allow the situation to sit in our mind we often feel a, a sensation or the issue somewhere in our bodies now science explains that well it's called psychology really that it's often connected to similar issues that we've experienced in our lives so our body minds replace sensations from the time when we had something happen or we had a very similar experience at some point in our lives um, that's just our body mind's way to keep us safe so it replays the sensations from a time in our lives which we we don't even we're not even conscious of um, and that's our body mind's way of keeping us safe but also feelings can be felt in parts of the body that are linked to the root cause now we feel this this is within our energy body it can be explained shamanically um, through what is the meridian system and um, that's the, the system that they use uh, in traditional Chinese medicine in acupuncture acupressure EFT SFP things like that and seven of the nine chakras um, in a lot of shamans know that there's more than just the seven chakras um, and within the seven chakras there on the, the main seven are in the body so when when we realize that these feelings are in relation to something here or the meridian system which is like loads and loads of uh, different mini chakras all over your body um, which would be acupressure points or acupuncture points um, then our body's saying listen to me because I'm trying to tell you how to present prevent this ease manifesting in your body here you, your body's saying this is where your energy is starting to get a bit blocked or, or a bit caught up and 
to be able to keep yourself going with the flow you need to tune into where this is and, uh, and address this problem so when we take time to listen to our bodies our loyal consort it is speaking without words and it's communicating with love and that's to keep us both together you know in body in mind and in spirit in the best possible way energetically and in alignment with our truth and our life purpose which is to enable us to reach zero or as you know it the peace of I. So I hope this has explained things for you today and, and helped you understand a little bit more about your body mind spirit relationship. Um, much love. Thank you. Namaste.